All right, my printer broke this morning, so I'm asking questions on my phone. I'm not like looking at emails, I'm just saying. That. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like an element of nerves or excitement when you first get the scripts through for, for Downton and a movie like this? Because your fate, your character's fates are left in the hand, obviously, of, of Julian Fellows. What's that experience like when you get the script and you open page one thinking, what is going to happen to my character? It's like Christmas, <laughs> getting a new script. Yeah. I'm, I'm always so excited to open it and see what he has in store. Yeah. So, yeah, nervous as well. Oh, I hope I made it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope I don't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, nervous and excitement's a good way of putting it, yeah. yeah. But is it one of those shows or, or films where that is just really fun to watch? And like an audience member, because there's so many different storylines, so many different characters. When you get around to watching it at the end, you almost feel like you can enjoy it like I would enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do now. <clears throat> I find it much easier to watch than I maybe did in the early days. It's, and I, I really enjoy, I enjoy watching other people yeah. more than I watch, like watching myself. Mm. Um, so it's really lovely to see all of the scenes that you've not been part mm. of. It's also, it's harder when it's a TV show, isn't it? Because you've got to watch it and then watch it again a week later and watch mm. it again. Yeah. Because with this, you sit down, you get the whole package and enjoy it. Yeah, how was it walking into like a sort of well-oiled machine like this? Because I guess it was it sort of strange walking into a world you knew, but you weren't a part of that makes sense. And now, because I guess that all the setting, all the characters, you would have got to know them here already just as an audience member. Sort of walking in, did it feel like going to sort of Disneyland or something? Uh, <laughs> you mean a bit like hell? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't like Disneyland. <laughs> um, it was, no, it was lovely. It, was, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't surreal because uh, I know what you mean. Um, it was a way, I think it was surreal a bit as it was for everybody because this was made like slap bang in the middle of COVID and, mm. and we'd all really been in, in full lockdown and suddenly here we all were together in a room <coughs> with people and some of them I knew from before and some I didn't. And um, I suppose the question was, like, how's, how, how are they, they going to be nice to me? Mm. Yeah. And it was, it, was, it was easy, it was lovely. It's such a great story as well that you yeah, have. Yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, I was thrilled. I was really happy to be coming and doing this part. Um, but yeah, you still don't know how. It, it's funny. I think that with anything like this, like the, the tone of it is set from right from the top, from the people at the top, and, and you could tell as soon as you walked in that everybody was having a good time. You know, when like a, a footballer signs for a, a club, they always have to like stand on a table and sort of sing in front of everyone as a kind of initiation. Do you guys do that with any of the new? <laughs> yeah, we made you did you? Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. Can yeah. Do it now, if you know. That's what I was going to say. That was my next question. Sing, we made him yeah. sing the theme tune of Downton Abbey <laughs> and make up his own words. Yeah. Yeah. And then we yeah. score them. Yeah. Mm. yeah, and it's in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's after yeah. the credits. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, hang around right. to after the credits. That's when it's on. Post credit sting. But um, I was going to ask all of you. I mean, in terms of working with, I just wanted to ask about working with Maggie Smith. I mean, what a treat. I mean, is it one of those experiences you're able to enjoy in the moment, sort of like while you're in the scene? I know you're in character and you're very professional, but are you able to sit there and think this is a this is an honour to be able to to be sharing a room with with such an icon of of TV and cinema? Well, it changed over the years, didn't it? I mean, I remember being absolutely terrified to start off with, mm. um, uh, but it's you know slowly over the years she you know, puts out feelers that maybe she likes you yeah. a little bit. <laughs> and, and uh, oh, you sort of, you, 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 you warm. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I don't it, think I got, I had time to get to that stage. No. You didn't have you didn't spend that much time I didn't, no, no, no. Just that dining table scene. A couple of scenes, and mostly it was me thinking, God, I was bad in that bit. <laughs> That's so, I really embarrassed myself in front of Dame Maggie. You do that sort of up it. your game with her. Yeah. She's got this presence that you're, you know, yeah. you feel like you really have to be, you know, on your best behaviour and at your best. Quite a good actor. You no, know, yeah. 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 I mean, even being on the Zoom through, the Zoom read through, mm. and, and she's on it, is, is that, it, it mm. is an honour. It's yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. And I mean, here's a, a big question, it's quite a hard one to answer, but what is it about Danton that just keeps drawing audiences and around the world? I mean, it's a global sort of sensation. I loved this movie. I sort of told my mum and my dad, and it's sort of one of those things that you can talk to anyone you know, and everyone's like, yeah, I'm going to go and see Danton when it comes out. So what, what do you think it is about this story and this world that just keeps bringing people back in? Well, I remember um, somebody telling me that their, their grandmother themselves and their daughter mm -hmm. We're going to watch. We're going to sit down and watch it together, and that's one of the lovely things. It's generations mm -hmm. of people can watch it together, which is, you know, um, not true of that many things. And I think it's because we see generations of people on there and a family and all the relationships. And the family doesn't. It's not just blood. It's everybody in the house, and you know, even people who come in. You know, so 
and families don't always get on. They, you know, they can they can be mean to one another, and I don't think Julian shied away from that. And so I, I think you know there's, there is kind of something for everyone in there. I remember. I mean, I, 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 I obviously we thought about it a lot, but I, I remember sort of watching the first series and uh, thinking, oh, it's going to be. You know, it, it, to all intents and purposes, it's going to be another period drama, which mm. British TV makes very well. But then you get episodes where you know. Mr. Pamu dies in your bed, <laughs> and you go, "Well, that's never been seen before." <laughs> and uh, so there are lots of sort of moments like that, which kind of drew people in. That became sort of water cooler moments, mm. and that's how we sort of grew our audience. Um, and yeah, yeah, I mean, and Julian's extraordinary writing. Mm. I'm sure I'm not the first person to ask. I won't be the last today. But will there be another one? Do you think? Do you think the Downton story will continue beyond this? We'll see. I mean, if there's the appetite out there, which seems to be every time, there seems to be, you know, people wanting more. Um, feels well timed. If people go and see it in the in the cinemas, mm. which it feels like just from like my, you know, speaking to four people, mm. that people are really ready to do that. And I think maybe particularly this kind of movie, mm. there's an appetite for something that's comforting, perhaps. I think they should release your movie that you're making in this. I just as a kind of little, like, all yeah. videos are on the oh, DVD yeah. extras, or just have it as a kind of 20 minute short. Yeah, well, it would be about three minutes, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, cool. Well, thank you so much thank for your time you. today, guys. Thank much you. appreciated. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey You Guys. Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.